You know, you got so many electric motors on your vehicle. You know, the alternators, generator type things, traction motors. And, you know, every time a brush hits a commutator, it makes a lot of noise, electrical noise. Did you know that? And it's got to be cleaned up. Well, how to do that is coming right up next. Well, we're at the 2016 SAE Convergence in Novi, Michigan, and we're at the Worth Electronics booth, and this is Benjamin Dorr, and he is a new products development manager, is that right? New business development. New business development manager, and uh, what well, you think about, well, new business, what kind of new business? These electric motors that we've been talking about uh, produce a lot of noise, uh, and, th and this noise is electrical noise, and it's in the form of RFI, you know RFI. Do you ever wonder how the engineers get the little spark and the arc noise that's created in all these electric motors out? And it's done with something called a choke. And uh, I never knew how these things work, but Benjamin does, and he's going to tell us all about it. So um, here we have a typical brush uh, commutation uh, card. So br the brush is running right here on uh, the, the, the stator. And what's happening is, as it's commutating, it's arcing. So we have uh, putting this in line, which is a uh, rod cord choke, which is then um, suppressing the uh, noise that's coming off this, this commutation of each brush, and the arcing is having an effect. And it helps with uh, vehicles with radios, so AM, FM band. Uh, generally, if you have a car from the 80s or 90s, and you hear uh, the fan speed, the speed of the fan, you'll hear actually in the radio, so newer cars, um, um, most cars have these, and two per car uh, in, in the motors, two, two per motor, uh, generally speaking, in the brush motor, uh, to suppress that type of noise. So I noticed that uh, the first one you showed us was really kind of small. Yep. It, it was on the, uh, this type of a brush, and this one's a lot bigger, so I would imagine that the bigger the motor, the bigger the choke? Yep, exactly. So. This one is a smaller one that's going on like a fuel pump or uh, the smaller ancillary motors where these big ones here are going on the big power fans that go either for the cooling of the engine or for the blower uh, for the air conditioning system. Yeah, okay, so he mentioned fuel pump. Wow, I never thought about that. A fuel pump's got to have one of these things too. Um, so a vehicle could have a lot of these chokes, right? Yeah, so a lot of people underestimate the amount of motors that are in cars nowadays. So you have um, not only the, 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 the stuff that's running the car, like fuel pumps and the blowers and all these things, but you also have all the other things that are out there now, because you have water pumps that are electrified, and you're having oil pumps that are electrified, and you have the window regulators, and you have the seat motors, and it's just on and on and on. So the number of motors in a vehicle nowadays is enormous. It certainly is, and so the number of uh, RF chokes or RFI chokes is enormous too. Quite a bit, yes. So. What is the failure mode, or is there a failure mode on something like that? Yeah, these are pretty simple, which is a good thing. Um, it's basically a piece of uh, magnet wire wrapped around a ferrite core, which is in a, has a type of uh, adhesive applied to it, and then the pins are tinned, and that is placed then into the modules. And uh, as you can see in the other parts of our booth, we are, sh we are doing all these uh, normal automotive qualifications to make sure that these things last as long as the vehicle does or longer. So vibration and thermal cycles and all sorts of fun stuff to make sure that these things run uh, forever. So That's a good point because I was just going to say something like, you know, this looks like a very simple thing. Anybody could make one. Uh-uh. It no. takes an awful lot of research and development to be sure that it works, it works properly for all the different applications that it's used in, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it looks simple, but it is uh, can be a challenge. So. Told you this was going to be interesting. You need to check this stuff out. So, if you need any more information on this sort of thing, you go to your website, which will be in the metadata down below, and uh, kind of go from there. Thank you.